The sound of the mysterious and the creepy. Yes, we are back. Live and exclusive to YouTube with a chat box over in that direction. I'm your host, Swishbone, for the remainder of the evening. And we're going to carry on our voyage as Alice. And we are deep in the next part of the game. We are in the hollow hideaway in this very unusual, really rather cool, dark interpretation of the Alice in Wonderland story. Of course, this game originally released all the way back in the year 2000. And I'm just quickly doing a quick refamiliarization with the controls. So far, everything seems okay. Ah. Yeah, the controls are a little fluid. Oh, what the hell? Ah, so that's what he did. He threw me up. Why are you running away from me? Is it because my croquet mallet is too powerful for you? Well, either way, you just failed, so... of mine. Yeah, the queen of the vertical leap. It's strange how primitive the controls are for this game, but they look really... Oh, that's not worked. Like that. Yeah, the auto-aim in this is weird, because you see the little, bru the little blue reticle. That's when you're locked onto another enemy. But it also is not the most accurate, whereas their guns are very accurate. Maybe sometimes it's better to just east and fuck your way closer. I don't know why you kept running away from me then. That's really strange. Now who's... Oh, it's you. I'm guessing we've got to go across the lily pads here. And you can't just climb up them either. Yes, the controls in this game are somewhat obtuse, but it has that very ethereal, lost in Wonderland feel, so I can't complain too much about it, people. Yes, here we go. Back on the leaf raft. Oh, I, I just love how primitive the graphics are in this game. It definitely, you can definitely tell how this was an old PC game. It, it certainly is not the cutting edge graphical powerhouse that we saw from later games in this period. And I think I've been taken as far as it's going to let me go. Hmm, okay. Fair enough, so now what do I do? There is another riverboat over there, I just noticed. Oh wow, this is so weird. Now I say the controls are pretty ordinary on a controller. I imagine on a PC using the mouse to look around and the keys, it would be somewhat more intuitive. The controller, especially this era controller, not known for having the most precise of inputs, it must be said. Oh! Um... Okay! Well, that was an unexpected way to go, people. That was... do. <laughs> Yeah, we definitely can't go up any higher. We have to go down. We have to descend. I was say, the mechanics for aiming are strange. It seems that the, like, floating platforms the diagonal slopes kind of mess up the trajectory somewhat. So you can never quite be certain where you're aiming at. And of course, because this is a port of an old PC game, 
it probably lacks the immediate fidelity and fluidity with the controls. So there's a lot more obtuse approaches to them, shall we say. So there's times where you don't know if you've hit them or not. See there, she was hitting the wall. And while it's great that they've bounced backwards, they've not actually helped me in any way. Unfortunately, East End thugging does work. Especially if you can stunlock them to try and always grab you and make them miss. That seemed quite surprisingly effective. I don't know if that's because he dropped a rock on me or if he hit me with his own body. But Alice took quite a bit of damage then. Now what's back here? Is there anything extra to move? Doesn't look like it. Ah, good evening, Swish. Oh, do you mean my Swisher Niki? Either way, welcome to the stream, Rose. How are you doing, mate? Not seen you for some time. What are you doing all right? Right. It's not taking us any further in that direction, so I think... Oh... Oh, now we're being attacked by something. Something just tried to kill me. Oh! Yeah. Spent too long in the water, people, and that's what happens. Surprise! Does anyone remember Batman Arkham City, where if you were in the, um, in the Iceberg Lounge, you could get swallowed by Tiny? I wonder if that's where they got the reference from. And, ah! Right. Um, I'm not, I'm not familiar with being referred to as a Niki. Um, like, on, on, on East San, maybe. And, um, on Ikun, but I've not heard of, um, Aniki before. But then again, this is me. Oh, uh, oh, oh, now we're dead, we're dead. Time to reload before I get eaten again. So this part's quite tricky because it seems that we can't land in the water because Mr. Fish will eat us alive. So we want to avoid that at all costs. Being eaten is not much fun, people. Say, this raft here will get us somewhere, but it takes us to what appears to be a dead end. Unless... Can you, can you, get, can you get onto those? I wonder. Is it possible to la to get onto that middle ledge? Oh, no, it's not if you fall off the, off the raft there. So these controls are definitely probably designed for the PC using the keyboard and mouse. It feels a little bit too floaty for the controls uh, on a controller. Yeah, it's, 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 a, it's an awkward, awkward one. It's fun, but it's okay. And yes, the fish was just having a bite to eat. Good evening to you as well, Ashley Jack, just seeing you jump in there. How are you doing, matey? Welcome to the stream. Yeah, it's not going to work. I keep trying to get onto that platform, and there might be a way to do it, but I'm just not good enough. Um, what's happening with Alice? Well, we're trying to stay out of the river because um, we've fallen in twice, and something rather unsavory has happened. Oh. In fact, I might be able to show you. Oh no, we got clear. Aha! Now we have some progress. Oh, what the? You cheeky sneaky! Oh, everything's out to kill me now, is it? Right, it's one of those games. Okay. Look, lures him with a power up and then finishes off by surprise. Oh, you scamps! From, from software, one there, get one there game back. Everything is literally out to kill me. And there is the death blow. Lovely, nice little move. Well, the good thing for now is at least I've established a path of where we got to go. And so, <laughs> we're no longer lost. There is that, at least. The big question, then, is... Um, 
How do we get there without falling into the water and being eaten by fish? And getting across there quickly enough so we're not killed by all the monsters, because there's lots of them. I've just seen all these guys are throwing things at us as well. No wonder we were having problems at the start. Yes, when you nail that, it's actually great. Only when you do nail it, though. Because at the moment, I've not been doing that very well. So it wasn't this platform. It was this one. So this is part of the problem. There is a bit of an indecision. Excellent, good start. Ow. Thank you. That's more like it. You know when they say that every rose has its farm? That one certainly does. Ow. Now I'm being shot by some kind of plant grenades. Ah, that's why it's him. Yeah, there you go. You didn't see that one coming, did you? Ow. I pressed jump instead then. Oh, no, we're still alive. Oh, okay, fine. That I'm surprised at. I mean, this is a surprisingly violent game, but in a good way. It's definitely about switching your weapons. That's where I was going wrong. I wasn't switching my weapons enough. Now the music's died away, which is somewhat annoying. Makes me wonder what's happening here. So yeah, so what's been happening to Alice? Well, she's been um, devoured by bugs and swallowed by fish and shot at by um, other things in the systems. Uh, probably usual Friday night for Alice, isn't it? Meanwhile, good evening, Avian. How are you doing? You've missed a couple of interesting uh, ways to expire in this game so far. It is indeed hump day for me. I am over as a hump as it's known. And we are on our way forward. Yeah, that cut you down to size, doesn't it? Oh no, get back here. Get back here. Thinking you can run away from me. Yep, yeah, I'm wishing it was um, the end of the week too, Avian, but alas, we are not in that position. Not just yet. Ah, I spy another way. No, nope, I can't get through that. Okay. And I can't get through there either. Uh, okay, so where do I go? This is where the game's more obtuse design compared to what came later is a an inhibition. Let's call it out. Let's call it an inhibition. Ah, there's another boat here. Okay. Well, because I don't trust the said boat, I'm going to save my game first. Ah, this looks promising. Right up ahead. This looks really promising.
Ja. So what I was doing now was shooting him in the back. That was my plan. Nothing in the chest there. Is that a music? Oh. It's a chameleon. Don't I know you? Bill McGill at your service. Call me Larry. Or not. Ever did brandy? No, I've only my wits. Then you have nothing. Wits are useless here. Everything is downside up. I must see the Duchess. Impossible. She only sees those who don't wish to see her. That's not right. It's perfect. She's supposed to be hiding from the Red Queen who wants her dead. Her head? That too. <laughs> Build this monstrosity. She's mad as monkey mash and just as tasteless. Well, never mind. We'll all perish soon enough. Sure you've no brandy! I'm here to retrieve the turtle's shell. I won't leave without it. Won't you indeed? Stick your thumb in her eye, what? Your devoted servant, Mum. I owe her a bad turn myself. Follow me! Well, it certainly seems friendly enough. Why do I not trust him? Oh, ain't that a surprise? Well, but at least we're at least we're out of that cursed swamp for a while. That's always quite nice. Do a save on slot five, I think. So we're back in more familiar indoor. Oh, we've got these nice little firefly lanterns. They're pretty awesome, actually. Check out the design on these. They're really cool. And, ah, nice, Snobby, you say you finished AI The Somnium Files Nirvana Initiative. Yeah, the sequel to AI Somnium Files. Really cool, actually. I like that game. Oh, what have I done? Oh! Come closer, my little chick. Probably a season you'd make a handsome dish. Oh, God, I know you. Not a full meal, certainly. What a light snack, I think. I'll have the turtle shell now, you disgusting ogre. <laughs> but my dead body, I'll try to accommodate you. Right, so it's a matter of staying away from her weapons and her fire. Oops. I think essentially I'm trying to set her on fire. Oh, I set myself on fire. That's not good. Yeah. That happened because I ran into my own flame. That's what that was. Luckily, I have a way back. So let's carry on here. It's like you get the weapon and then immediately you're sent into that. Oh. Ah, right, so it just throws bombs. Gotcha. Ah. This is like a puzzle boss, you gotta try and trap her to run towards the bombs, I think. To cause damage to her. So now she's on fire a bit. That didn't mean to be up there.
Aha, Marner. Check it out, there's the forks as well. Huh? Why didn't she get that? Yeah, that was that happened because she didn't grab it, which is annoying, but what can you do? Oh, I didn't mean to be on that weapon. In fact, I wonder. Yeah, now I'm out of weaponry unless I can get some more healing. Yeah, this is a rather... Yeah, you can't even use the croquet mallet on it. I think the only weapon that'll do any damage, seriously, is... the one that I don't know how to use, and it seems I've not got it anymore, either. Yeah, there was one weapon that was actually hitting her, and it was the... Ah, that hurts her. Okay. You say it reminds you of Tomb Raider, um, Arista Jack, and you're not wrong, actually. It has that kind of vibe to it, doesn't it? Why are you using that weapon? Oh, that's helpful. She moved towards me. Problem is, I've not got any kind of health bar for us, so I don't know if I'm doing any damage at all. That's the problem. The only way, though, she's moving is when she suddenly reels back and goes, ah, ah, ha, ha! Ah! Okay. She just went to retrieve that heart herself. That's interesting. Right, okay. Oh, not a time for me to hit that. I don't know if that's her magic power or what. No, we're not soft locked. I don't think we are anyway. I hope not. It'd be a pretty boring end to the stream if we're soft locked doing this all night. I'm definitely doing damage to her because she's, she's getting. She, she's bleeding. Ow. I think the only way to do it, which seems rather counterintuitive, is to get these things to stop her collecting them. But the problem is they're all over the room, so unless I can get all four and go absolutely berserk... The thing is, they, they keep regenerating as well. So this is what's going to be a case of just running around forever by the looks of it. I can't kill her. She can't kill me. the music here isn't exactly great is it people let's be honest this constant like moaning soundtrack sounds like a really bad 1990s porn movie in fact if anyone remembers this the final boss at the end of uncharted 2 it feels a bit like that constantly run around in a circle try and cause damage I feel like I'm playing Uncharted 2, and that's not a good thing. Final boss of Uncharted 2 was pathetic. Anyone who's played that game will know exactly why. 
Um, no, it's not horror porn. I'm not talking about Orochi Doji. If you know what I'm talking of with that, uh, you might want help. Say, is that pepper form where she can go invincible? It makes me wonder if there's something I'm missing. I'm going to say, I did have an extra weapon. The Jack in a Box. Now, it's the only thing that seems to do any serious damage to her. Hmm. It's not an idea, but it involves getting a lot of a lot of health. A lot of health and a lot of mana. My idea, if I can make it work without dying, is to use the bombs. Hey! What the f sneezed her own head off. What, what, what? I know this is meant to be a dark interpretation of Alice in Wonderland, but wait, what? I'll have the leeches in to handle this mess. At least my shell's in tolerable condition. A simple thank you would have been nice. I've kept my part of the bargain, Turtle. Fair enough. I'll take you on a trip. Hover around my bubbles. Cuddle up to them. Never leave them. You'll muddle through. I agree. It wasn't exactly the most fun boss there. As I say, it reminded me too much of what happened in Uncharted 2 in the final boss there. Oh, now we're back underwater. Um, okay. Oops, let me do that. And I just blew myself up as a result of that. And I think what I've got to do is stay behind him in, in the way of his... Work. Now, the camera angle here is interesting because it's technically allowing us to do something with Alice that you're not really supposed to do in gaming. Except, well, here you can't really see anything, so there is that at least. Got swallowed whole then. Got away with it now. Now. You can definitely tell where this was the early 2000s design, can't you, people? Looking at the graphics and the way the control schemes work. But the fact that this was included as a freebie, as DLC, that you can still get today. You can still find it now, nearly 13 years like What the hell? Oh, come on, seriously? <laughs> Please tell me that's after the boss. Nope, it's loading me all the way back here. I might have to fight the boss again. 
But I'm not seeing the... Um, I'm not seeing the... I'm not... I'm out to fight the boss again, people. That's my own fault for not doing a save. Yeah, it is. Unless one of these is a slot, but I can't see it. I can't see it. Yeah, it's not. Oh, dear. Oh, no, I saved it. Good, right. Save slot one. Okay. Heart attack averted, people. Pardon me while I make a backup save. I, mean, I think what happened there is I just got... Go yes, it is one of those games, Snobby, if you're quite correct. It's the very early 2000s where you can softlock yourself by saving at the wrong time, which is what I could have done underneath that pillar that crushed knowledge to death, so... I've got to be careful where I go here. Because he says, stay close to my tails and you'll make it through, but... He was leading us into death traps, so I'd really rather not do that. Unless I have to. So that was about to take me to a lot of spikes, but I got away with it. Ah, stupid work stuff got in the way, Avian. Never fun. Must be sad. But work's work. Without work, we... would be needing to live lives very rich with uh, people giving it, buying it from for us. Or begging our audience to pay our bills. Not calling out any in particular individual with that one, I assure you. I'm definitely not lying. Now we're being chased by a fish. I'm dead. Or maybe not. Okay, this is a challenging sequence, it must be sad. Is he going to take us somewhere to get out without being killed in the process? The AI for this is awful. It's an escort mission where... I'm being escorted, yet the actual route is not obvious. I'm dead. Whoa! There's a jump scare and a half for you people. That was a jump scare. Go away. This is a nuisance. Well, I think we might have made it. Uh, you managed to get a different, uh, different office day. That's kind of cool. Finish what you start, please. Remember, you're just a visitor. We have to live here. I'm not on holiday. No. And I'm not ungrateful. You're an honorary reptile. Lucky me. You'll think so when you're underwater. Oh, and now he gives us a shell. Now we have someone that's actually useful. Oh, well, never mind. The main thing is we made it out. So let's quickly save our game. Yeah, check out that jumping animation, people. Ow, someone's just shot at me. Whoever that is, please don't do that again. I won't aim down there, which is really irritating. Now, now I'm dead, or am I? I 
can't see a sudden thing. Yeah, that's why I go fishing the old school way. Yep, collapse and fall over. Uh, I'm not planning to get any of those games. No, Snowbeaver. And I'll be honest, I'm not. I'm definitely not interested in Alone in the Dark. That game series has not been relevant since before Resident Evil was a thing. I still remember the terrible movie starring Krusty and Slater. Directed by Uwe Boll. And say Dragon's Dogma, I don't really know. Rise of Ronan, I don't know either. So I mean, they're games I've basically never heard of. Oh, you're the reason I was dying, right? What the hell? Let's get sucked in by that fish. Can't see a sudden thing. Right, okay. This game's not messing about anymore. Oh, now what's shooting me? I've got to try and get up here if I can. Go on, climb, climb. Excellent. Needed that. Some healing. All good. Since I'm in a slightly better position here, I'll do another quick save. Yeah, in terms of a game difficulty, this is not an easy one. Ow. And I've been attacked by fish again. So because I am a bit of a dirty safe scummer, we will do that. Yeah. And it's not cheating if the game lets you do it. Remember that, people. Remember that excuse. Remember it well. So the problem is you can't see into the water when the fish are coming. Hang on, I'm missing something there. Give me a sec. Ow. Get out of the water. Right, tell you what. Before I do anything, I'll quickly take control of the game control options again. So it's Y to climb up. Okay. There's a reason I chat that then. A very good reason. Because I see a rope in there. Ah, that's helpful. I've taken it out. Yes, we're making progress, people. Oh. Yeah, the level designs for this game are inventive, but also kind of frustrating at the same time. But it's okay. Because now we're getting somewhere.
Oh, I see you there. And I'm guessing we've got to somehow get to that rope, but we're not getting there by jumping. Yep, there's no way through that. Aha! Oh! Yeah, it's weird, like, the, the, the controls for getting on ropes seems somewhat peculiar. In terms of, like, how you get them. And well, good in your nerdy hand. Yep, back at it again. That's exactly right. I enjoyed the interesting way to die by the fish that came out of the water and swallowed you whole. Very Jaws. Very 1970s. And it's uh, also that, that boss fight against the, um, the lady with the pepper mill. That was a strange one. That was a very, very weird fight. Managed to beat it on the second time of asking when I realised kind of what I was doing. But it seems I've got to get onto that rope, and I think it's just that we're not quite getting the angle right for it. There we go. And now... Uh... That's right, we can swing across now. You say the fish scared, scared, out, scared the crap out of you. I gotta say, it was a nice jump scare. It was a nice surprise. You've taken your sweet time. What do you mean? You're the one who didn't wait. I have reasoned. Forget reasons. They're useless. Caterpillar is waiting. I remember him well. Thin-skinned, ill-tempered, smokes too much, disagreeable smell. Why do I need him? No one's wiser in Wonderland. Only he knows what you must do to save us. Now follow closely. The way is treacherous. We have so far to go and so little time to get there. Well, of course we've got little time. Since when does Manhattan ever have time? All he ever tells us is that we're late, late for a very important date. Right. This is where the game's controls can either be of constant... Oh, they can just kill you. That's what I was saying before about the controls. Either they'll kill you or you'll make it. It's one of those. Enter that zen-like state, people, that you are going to die in this game. That's my, that's my best advice. You want to make it across in this game? Expect to die. The only problem with this particular weapon is it seems quite weak for the amount of output on mana it takes. But it seems a lot more accurate than the others. And accuracy is very important. No idea if you're supposed to use that or not, but it doesn't really matter because we've got to cross anyway. I forgot to say, not you guys again. Okay, we've got we've got the bomb squad dropping in people. That's what we've got here. This is where the game is in its um you've had your fun, now it's time to die mode. Nope. Thought I could grab that ledge and get back across and the game was like, cute, nice try. At least that time we managed to avoid getting killed. Oh, and then we die like that. Seriously? 
This game's hilarious. If, if we had a death count for this game, we'd be well into like triple figures by now, wouldn't we? Yeah, flying bugs are, are, are susceptible to the cards. Oh, that's a problem when that's not even aiming at the right platform. No, that, that wasn't even close, was it? Oh, well, that worked. <laughs> that was a surprisingly effective technique. Go on this slot here. See, I kind of fell off the edge then, but she wasn't off the edge, if you know what I mean. And that time she didn't jump. I made the jump before, why can't I jump now? Why is the game like, no, you can't do this? I mean, technically, if you load before you die, you've not died. Why, did, why was I able to do it before? What's different now? That was severely delayed. I was mashing the A button to jump and it just wasn't having it. Curious, you think with a precision platformer, you'd be able to platform, but the game's like, no, you can't do that. It's annoying, I did this first time before, now I can't do it at all, what's going on? Ah, I think he shot it out of the air. That explains that. <laughs> I mean, platform levels have always been my bane of existence, it must be said. So, if I can't do it that way, I'll try and do it the legit way. There, that was a better way of doing it, wasn't it, people? Let's actually, let's actually play it properly. Don't seem to do enough damage, these cards. That's the problem. Although they are quite decent for these things. So there is that at least. My idea was good then, my execution was poor. the cards have got great accuracy they're not so great for doing that now I feel like I'm in a dishonored duel bye bye head so I will say that if you can get the croquet mallet to hit them those flying enemies are very susceptible to it it's just getting it to hit, that's the problem. Get it to hit, and it does a load of damage. So, there is patience and persistence involved here. Two things I don't have a lot of. Patience and persistence. I think there's one guy. Oh. 
I will though. Oh, too late now. Well, that went far better than I had any right to go. I can't and won't complain at that. That was luck of the highest order. I cannot and will not complain at that. That's the kind of luck you don't get very often, people. I don't know if it's just me, but getting onto these ropes is an absolute nightmare. She either doesn't get on them at all, or, or falls through them, if you know what I mean. It doesn't help that the same button for climbing is the button for special attack. So I don't know if it's just me, but that seemed far more awkward than it needed to be. This is definitely a very different game to Madness Returns, people. If you're, if you're a veteran of Madness Returns and you come back to this, you're in for a shock. If you came from this to Madness Returns, you're in for a great pleasant surprise. All of a sudden the game, it feels better. Ah yes, now we have to actually get the momentum right. It's interesting how they managed to make a game in a such an open garden feel claustrophobic and intense. I kind of applaud the creators for doing that. They managed to take a part of the game which should be open and dull and made it feel really quite tight and awkward. Especially when one of us throwing bombs at you like that. So that strategy of mine works surprisingly well for those guys. It's amazing how that strategy works. It shouldn't work, but it does. Walking close, then back right off as you attack and repeat. It's a bit repetitive, but it does the job. I had a feeling you'd be coming around the corner. The low frame rate then was awful. We had a stupidly low frame rate for a second. Which is a bit of a problem when you're trying to evade enemies dropping stuff on you. Low frame rates and lack of control are not helpful there. Oh, I see you. It doesn't help that they're able to fly out of bounds very easily. Ah yes, that's the way we came, so we don't want to fall down that. More major platforming sections here, including what appears to be a power-up. But what a surprise! They've gone away. I heard you come in. Not this time, Mon Frere. Not this time. I gotta sound like I know what I'm doing, don't I, people? Oh. Wow, that's fair. If you don't, if you don't have the control exactly right, you, you immediately fall down and die. Or you jump over it completely and die. 
And there's no um, feet marker to help you this time, people. Ah, that one just knocked me out. Okay, I'm wondering if it's possible. Yeah, you can't wake it up. Huh? What the? Um, I'm somehow still alive, but I can't possibly be alive for much longer. I, I should not be alive right now, people. I'm literally floating on air. <laughs> that was worth it just to watch the strangest death I've ever seen. Well, one of. It's not the strangest. Ah ha ha! That makes all the difference. I knew there was something I was missing. I just knew that I just knew that I wasn't getting something right then. I just I'm looking at it, I'm like, I'm missing something really effing obvious. The moment I found it, I took it. Oh. Oh, well, I w good evening to I Am The Well. How am I finding the game? I'm finding it really cool, but at the same time, really kind of broken. It's one of those games which I think is really nice and got an amazing design, but you can tell it was designed for a platform that it's not being played on, if you know what I mean. So it was kind of cool to be able to get those guys. But yes, yeah, it's, it's it's fascinating. I say for a free game as well. So thank you, Nerdy Hound, as well for tri tipping me off that you could download this for free on the Xbox Live because that's how I'm playing this. I'm playing this via 360. It's fascinating to play. It's really interesting to see where the where the sequel came from because the difference in performance is unreal. But it's in a good way. It's not like it's a bad game. It's just a bit flawed in terms of its control schemes. But you understand that this game was made using the Doom engine. So the fact they made a 3D platformer in a weird, obtuse style like this in the 3D, in the Doom engine is amazing. Because it wasn't designed for that. And it's got great art style, great characters and everything else. It's just very much a... A, fr a frustrating experience in terms of the controls. I think you have to adopt that very much. You are going to die, accept it, and then just keep on seeing how many times you can come back. I think that's the way to deal with it. It's like there, and I'm supposed to get into that uh, into that rope, and no matter what angle I'm taking it at, it's just not having it. It's as if it's saying, "Well, I want you, you can want to climb that." But you're not going to be allowed to. <laughs> so get used to the death scream. Get used to reloading. <laughs> it's, it's a good game. It's fun. I'll give it that. It's a fun game. I don't know what I'm doing wrong with that. I mean, even if I... Even if I hold down the button to climb, she's going through it. I don't know if you're supposed to hit it as you get to the ropes or what. And of course, because of the tank controls, you can't even try and turn it into a side-scroller by having the camera side on, because she'll just, she'll, she'll just strafe left. I mean, obviously that's where we got to go, because there's that guy up there. I can see him right in the centre. I might try something else here, because this clearly isn't working. Well, that's something new. You can, there, there is a combo. Oh, that's a shame that um, I end the world. Yeah, it's, um, it's amazing that you can get it on the 360, but you can't on the PS3. 
Um, I, I thought the PS3 um, store was uh, preserved, wasn't it? Didn't like loads of fans go out of the way to preserve to preserve the store. Huh? Right, that was fine until she glitched and started running forwards. They so say the only way for you to play it is to pirate it. I say, I mean, I'm, I understand Sail in the Seven Seas. I've had to do it myself many a time. For some of the games I've wanted to play. It seems there is a bit of a double jump mechanic then, because I was, I was suddenly... And then I fell, so there was some way that I did actually double jump. Now you see that time she grabbed the rope, I'm sure of it. Right, okay. It might be one of those games where you have to jump into it and then let go of all control. And if you do that, you'll actually get to where you need to go. So let's run a quick test of this. After saving our game. Jump forward. Yeah. Right. It's a bit counterintuitive, but it works. Perfect. Right, now we have some understanding of it at least. A little bit awkward, but essentially if you let go of the jump button and everything else when you're locked onto a, onto a rope, she will climb it. That's where I was going wrong. It's not quite got the capture in instant ability of some of the other platform games from the era. You can tell that this wasn't really made in a game engine that was designed for precision platforming. And again, I don't think it helps that it was ported down from the PC onto the sixth generation consoles. Because port downs on that era weren't brilliant. They weren't bad, like Portal 2 for example on the Xbox 360 was pretty good. Um, Halo on um, the original Xbox was fantastic apparently. Swimming against the tide, people. We're going to try and survive. We're going to try and survive. I don't want to end up back over the waterfall. The game's like, no, no, you don't. Oh, come on, grab the edge. God, these controls suck. And way down you go. No matter. Let's try here again. Ah, Avian, welcome back. You've been back and forth with work. Well, that's understandable. That's what jobs do. They're they're annoying, but you've got to go on with it as best you can. Yes, that's right. Get out. The thing is, now that I know the enemy precisions here, I can save the game again, and that'll make things a bit easier. Oh, for... Yes, precision platforming in this game is not very precise, it must be said. Yeah, this time I'll go way wide of the... The house has shot me. <laughs> I 
Whatever it was, it's okay. Ah, yes, water would be an instant fail if you touched it, oh, like in the Crash games. Yeah, this game's at least giving you some options there, Romavian. You're not wrong. Oh, hello? The Herbaceous Border. That's where we are now, people. It's Herbaceous. Strange how quiet it is here now. I don't like it. Caterpillar is just beyond the clearing, Alice. Let's sacrifice stealth for speed. Stealth? You think I've been stealthy? Oh, what the... Is that Hatter? Uh, okay. Don't be a crash bandicoot running towards the screen moment. Do not be... <laughs> Everyone I love dies violently. Unnaturally. I'm cursed. Why go on? I'll just hurt others. No time for self-pity. Evade these savage soldiers and find the caterpillar. <laughs> She's there on her knees, crying her eyes on her. He's like, no time for this, Alice. Get going. Very 1930s. <laughs> like, you have no time for, to mourn, Alice. Be a good girl and get on your way. Ah, we actually have a path up here. Out of curiosity, does it lead anywhere? It leads straight into the, the jaws of a bleeding flower, for God's sake. Bugger off, will you? Let's see what's up here. Ah, another way down. So we get to choose we get to choose our path, people. Well let's save our game and we'll jump down this hole. We're used to jumping down rabbit holes here in Wonderland, aren't we, people? Ah. Look if it's not. I was going to say, that definitely hit it. The reach to the jack-in-a-box is huge. Absolutely massive. I say, the actual, like, art style of this game reminds me of the likes of Quake 2. And all those kind of games. Ah, oh, this is a real maze now. This is a proper maze. Ah, maybe not. It's a maze no more. Yes, you can bugger off as well. So, uh, whenever you say a phrase like that, you have to put on the uh, really bad spiffing accent. It's like, oh, bugger off, well. Interesting, we found a different route. I'm not sure if this is the way we're supposed to go, but I will take it as best I can. Apologies for the lots of saves coming, people, but as Monami once said, remember to save often. Yeah, it didn't quite work the way I wanted it to, that. No big deal. What about this way? Yeah, you think that's definitely the Hatter. It certainly has the right design for the legs and everything else, doesn't it? Ah, there's something up there that I need, Go and that's the, the kitty. Flow. Whatever floats will do. 
Go with the flow, whatever floats will do. Well, many things float. But the big thing is those air pockets. That's got to be the answer. Because that's what we ended up doing in the sequel, which we've already played through. So I, I'm, the, I'm the weird... I'm the one who's playing the game out of chronology, chronological order. Main reason being, I didn't know you could actually play this game. Excellent. Now we're talking. Perfect. I've just picked something up, but I don't know what it is. Hmm. Never mind. It's a weapon. It'll do. Okay, you can climb now. Of course, on Monday evening, I'm playing another classic game which involves platforming in a way, but in a different style. When I play Tenchu Stealth Assassins, for those of you who had that game back in the PlayStation 1 era, it's what many would see as the precursor to Dark Souls, even though I'm not a Dark Souls fan. In fact, I'm not a fan of the Soulsborne game at all. Tried playing Demon Souls, couldn't get into it. Try playing Dark Souls, couldn't get into it. Try playing Elden Ring, couldn't get into it. Try playing Bloodborne, couldn't get into it. Oh, come on, seriously? Don't do that. I think it's that slot. Yep, that's right, this is the one. And it seems that when you get near the ledges, it's a bit of a crap shoot as to whether you'll fall down or stay, stay up on the ledge. Which is kind of annoying. It makes life quite tricky, but you just gotta go with the flow as best as you can, really. Ah, interesting. Um, so, the cancelled third game was meant to be a prequel. I know, I've, apparently, I think if you go on American McGee's... Is it his Patreon page or somewhere like that? If you're a patron, you can actually read the script. But apparently, due to some kind of odd contract that they've got with EA, they're not allowed to do any, like, um, thing in the universe. They couldn't even do what many games companies have done and set up a Kickstarter for a spiritual successor. They're basically forced to leave it behind, which is really sad because this IP has been sat doing absolutely nothing in, in EA's back catalogue. You can play you can buy it on Steam, yes. That's it. it. It's like, you can't really do anything else with it. Like you mentioned before, um, I am the Well, saying that you're having to actually say all the seven seas because you can't even get it on a PSN anymore even though you've got a version of the game which is pathetic because at the end of the day game preservation is really important to me I think it's vital that we preserve our games it's vital that we don't let the history get lost because lost media is no good for anyone Oh, it, oh, it's entertaining when it's found. Of course it is. But it's awful for people who just want to enjoy it. So half the time you have to ask the question, don't you like money? Are you, are, are you unhappy at making cash? What's, what, what, why, why have you not just put it out for the audience? It makes no sense. Like, there's so many game series that have just been left to rot, abandoned, because the developers have not been able to do anything with the IPs. It's like Mirror's Edge. I've got both Mirror's Edge and Mirror's Edge Catalyst. 
And while I'd love to play through them, and I can do it because I've got them on Steam, the actual stories don't continue. And it's such a shame because there's so much scope in the world. Oh, hello. Rolling Stones. No, don't you dare. Do not be a Crash Bandicoot escape the thingy world. Uh, what? Oh, they're gonna do it, aren't they? They're gonna do it. They're gonna do my least favourite type of game. Ah, uh, for... Oh, this time at least I can see where I'm going. Okay. That's an improvement. And yeah, I hate that buzzing noise as well, but unfortunately there's very little I can do about it. It's time to run away! I hate boulder runs when you can't see them, Arista Jack. I'll give them credit, at least here I can see where I'm going. The big reason I can't stand the ones that you have in uh, the likes of Crash Bandicoot is you're running towards the screen and you literally have no way of knowing where you're going. And it's awful. I can't stand it. So this one's so far been a lot more forgiving but i'm saying the word so far on purpose because this was made in the doom engine which means the id software had something to do with it and they're not known for being gentle with their audience oh it's ice and ah this thin ice i just saw that at the last second so it's a path navigation part that's changing the game up it's innovative but it's annoying and you can see the ice path right below us. So that's why you can't just drop off, because you'll immediately fall into the abyss. And again, I think this is where being on a keyboard and mouse would be so much better. It would be so much more precise. Ah. You can't use that one, so that one's an auto-auto save regardless. To be fair, that's good coding them. Ah, I think I've got a problem here. If I'm right, that save... Oh no, that's the wrong, that's the wrong one. I've just loaded the long slot. Apologies, people. I realised that the last second... Rolling stones, that's the slow one. It's seen that the boulder caught up with us. Yeah, it's the boulder. It's not the it's not it's not the thinness of the ice. But the problem is Let me try this one. Right, good, nice one. Okay. you just got to not stop. It's a case of go, 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 go. Trying to cut the inside, minimise the path of resistance. Racing line, as it's known, as best as we can. Take the racing line. Okay. Now we can definitely put a save. Oh, really? Have I just have I just created a save that's right before a uh, point where you die? Yeah, I think you have to jump and run at that point. This is this level's mean. This level's not messing around. Oh, that's the actual way to progress the level. I was thinking and I'm like, I can't get past it. Now I know why. 
So now we're in the obligatory ice level, people. We're in the level where we have no grip, no control. And everybody else is like, how's that different to the rest of your streams? And my answer is, shut up. Well, to be fair, she's doing well to run on this ice and heal boots. Alice is far better than you or I, people. Oh, God, I see how this is. You have to fight for control every, every single move you make. You have to fight for control. <laughs> no, that's dry landing. That's the one icy reception. So somewhere down here is the next route. Let's go over the tops. Ooh, there's something there. Withering cold incapacitates an enemy more completely. Really? I was supposed to listen to that? How? How was I supposed to listen to that? That's a safe spot. For now. Withering cold incapacitates an enemy more completely than deep wounds, but winter does not last forever. Ah, we have an ice weapon, okay. Saying getting up there, people. Excellent. Okay. And breathe. If all there is up here is a, is a power up to restore health, I won't be happy. Well, there's not much I can really do about it. So let's be honest here. It doesn't matter if I'm happy or not. Yep, there's nothing else here. So all of this ticket to a festival of icy death leads you to a big fat nothing. Oh. And then it does that to you, just for good measure. So they go, ha ha! Good try. Chicken plop saying, you remember this game coming out and the story wasn't bad, but the mechanics were pretty shocking. The mechanics are definitely challenging. There's a lot of uh, very much a case of you are going to die, you have to accept it kind of thing. It's uh, in many ways, you could say it's like uh, the precursor to those games where it had the stream counter for how many times you died. And it's not because the control scheme I don't think it was designed for a controller. I think it was more designed for a PC. My friend Nerdyhound said this when they played through it. He said it felt very much like a game that had been designed for the PC rather than the controllers that we're playing it on now. Because I'm using this on the Xbox 360 version. Uh, the reason for that being it was one of the easier ways to get a hold of the game. Um, annoyingly. If I wanted to play this game, that this was the way to do it. And while I get the need to constantly, like, push self up, that constant moan is really irritating to listen to. It must be sad. 
Well, that's the nature of the beast. You just got to try and get on with it as best as you can. So good evening and welcome to the stream. How are you doing? I think this is where I came before. I'm almost certain of it. Yeah, this was the start of the level. There's nothing back here. Which is somewhat disappointing. So I love the music and I love the character designs. And they said a story from... But basically, because I, I played Madness Returns. I know quite a lot of the story anyway. Yeah, that's just the way to freeze enemies. That's not much use to me at the moment. So my issue here is basically finding a place to navigate. Because at the moment I'm not seeing anything obvious. But just because I'm not seeing it doesn't, doesn't mean it's not there. <laughs> I was thinking then what had her stuck. She was stuck against something, but I couldn't see anything obvious in terms of what was holding her back. I'm not seeing any ropes, but I am seeing that ledge up there, but I didn't see it. When I went up there before, I didn't find it. Ah, hang on. I don't think I've been down this way. Interesting, I'm on an ice stage and I actually just like lost all I actually gained grip rather than lost it. See I'm actually I actually got stuck in an animation then. So now we're in a much more magma level. So we're going from ice to fire. George R.R. R. Martin, is that you? I did just do something interesting now. I created an ice wall. Now whether that's because I created a shield or froze something that was rising, I can't tell you. the idea of Alice using a skirt as like a parachute I think that's very interesting and very nice I'm not sure why we've got the icy gra icy gravestones being found oh hello ah oh, Alice you've returned but rabbit never told me why and now he's gone. Why? Wonderland is severely damaged. You must set things right, that's why. I barely recognize this terrible place. What is it to me? It's home. Well, it could be. Having lost what you loved, you nearly wipe us out. You've started to rebuild. Your task, however, and your pain are not over. Why must I suffer? Because your mind is fouled by self-deception. Even your fantasies have fragmented into tortured versions of themselves. You are racked with guilt because you survived. And you dread the prospect of a life alone. What do you think I must do? Destroy the Queen of Hearts. Wonderland and your entire world can become whole again. I need to rest now. You need to regain your human size. Grow up, Alice. Embrace the truth. Travel to the fungiferous forest, now, and nibble from the mushroom of life. Take great care. The voracious centipede jealously guards it and rules over what you require. 
And then he's just gonna have a token no power, isn't he? Oh well at least he's crafted a um I'm guessing that's a portal for us. We've gone all very 1970s prog in the, in this way at the moment. So the fungiferous flora is where we're going next. As we continue to build the portraits and ah. Now we're definitely back in Quake 2. doesn't work. now yeah it definitely made this quite a bit more tough well I got to use my auto save it no big deal so this weapon I don't know how to use it ow all that did was hurt me that clearly didn't work so let's try that again Uh, th that weapon's very imprecise, but I can't think of any other way to get through here because the enemies won't be damaged by anything else. That's the problem, you have to try and wake him up. Oh, now we're on fire. And now we're being eaten alive again. See, so the problem is they're completely immune to damage. From what I can see, and you can't you can't freeze them either. Doesn't that doesn't work. I just don't think it does. I mean, you can freeze them, but it drains that much uh, mana. Unless you can use it as an evasion tactic. Let's try that. Yeah, it's a way of getting them off you. Definitely made this harder than it needs to be. Ah. Especially when they stun lock you like that. If they stun lock you, you get really screwed over. So the only weapon that seems effective for these is the ice weapon, but you can't really do anything with it apart from maybe run past them with it.
Well, to be fair, that was a factor. Now what the hell's... Oh, it's you. You're the reason why. Okay. I'll make a quick save here. In slot number five. That definitely works. <sighs> yeah, goodbye. Those particular enemies are very irritating. And you again. Thank you. Yes. So when it comes together, there's actually moments in this that feel pretty nice and genius, but you have to really dig deep. It's very, very tough otherwise. Oh, no, that's not going to work. Ow. Oh, now we're on fire. that not kill it it was right underneath it why is that mushroom seemingly immune to damage that mushroom's not being damaged at all that doesn't make sense thank you at last must have just been missing the um, arc for it or something. I can't think of any other reason. Yes, get down and stay down. Yep, I had a feeling there was fish in there. I thought if I could get away close enough, I'd get away with it. Still, managed to kill that fish too, so that's useful. If I can get that safely... Ah! There is a way under there. Cool. Okay. Let's quickly save our game. Again. As we are being driven very much around the bend here in Wonderland, it must be said. This game is definitely not taking any prisoners. Not that I mind that too much. It's nice to have challenge. It's also annoying when you get swarmed, but that's games in general. So we're taking out one fish. The question is, is there any more? I don't know. I don't see any. But I do see an annoying mushroom. Yep, I knew that was going to happen. Nothing I could do to avoid it. Get off. Uh, uh, stop doing that!
good news is that I managed to get away with that. The bad news is I've got no health. Oh, I've got minimal health. What I don't have much of is mana. my depth there, quite literally because of the character's size. Yay! Full weapon recharge. Thank you very much. That is very welcome. So we might not have much in the way of health, but we have plenty in the way of ammo. So that's good. These guys again. Ugh. One down. If you can get the bombs to hit them just right, it's easily the most effective way to finish them off. Easily. But the control for the aiming just is very imprecise. You never quite feel in control. Oh. I think we're about to face another boss, people. Oh, boo. You pathetic and wretched excuse for warriors. Form a line. I meant to save my game, not load my game. Yeah, check it out. Design, it must be sad for these guys. Hmm? Huh? What? Um, did I just skip a part of the game? Yep, it's a boss fight. I know that he said that um, ice is, uh, is fearful. So let's see if this is any use. I don't know if that hits him or not.
I'm just seeing how low my ammo is. I mean, the music has got that nice, creepy vibe to it. It has to be said. Um, I was going to say, why has it suddenly gone quiet? That definitely hit him. No doubt about it. I mean, at least it's a nice open area to fight in, but at the same time, it feels really quite soulless. What I need to do is I noticed that he's got his belly exposed, so I might just need to keep I need to, might need to just keep running around him. And then when he opens up his belly, hit him with the with the ice weapon. You are good evening Queen, you say you've made it, how are you doing? Yeah, that hurt him. Okay. We now have a strategy. These annoying little buggers can get out of my face. Yes, we are on a boss fight. It's um, quite quite an annoying boss fight. It's one where we need a lot of mana. There's also an intrinsic lack of pace at certain points. Oh, I was hoping to avoid that happening, but there's not much you can do. That's a disgusting enemy, isn't it, Queen? You say you're looking forward to the end of shift tomorrow. I don't really blame you. This is so tedious. This is one of the most tedious... Unfortunately, there is no other strategy. That's the problem. If there was another strategy, I'd, I'd, I'd use it, but there isn't any other strategy available. That's the part of the problem. It doesn't help that the weapon select system is so slow as well. They're meant to be holding cards, but it wasn't having any of it then. Oh, now, now he's changing the attack to a charge attack, is that? Oh, 
God's sake. He's not exposing the, he's not exposing the only part I can damage him up. This is a boring stalemate. The playtesters really could have done with going through this a bit better. So it feels like the game, it feels like the fight's unfinished. Definitely did some damage to him then. Yeah, I got the feeling that this is going to be one of the most repetitive boss fights of all time. It's literally a case of run away, get mana, run away, get mana. Which I'm sure is something you're all loving watching at the moment, so I think you all very much are sticking with it. I say the design of the boss is tremendous, but it just feels like there's a beat missed in terms of the way it functions. You know, it would also be nice if I had some kind of way of knowing what, is, what its health is. But there's no ability to sense. There's no health bar. There's nothing. You just got to keep on waiting. So I don't... Oh, what the hell? Um, okay, the camera went all geriatric at them for some reason. Don't ask me why. I don't know. You see, it's like that doesn't do any damage to him, which it should do, because it looks like the bombs don't hurt it. And considering I'm getting the bomb underneath the armoured shell, I'd expect it to do something to him, but it doesn't seem to do a sudden thing. And they're just bouncing off, so they're pointless. Right, there is mana in that direction over there, at least. So that's good. Well, um, you can definitely tell this is a game from the early 2000s, peeps. It has that sense of graphical finesse for the time. Rough around the edges gameplay that's surprisingly aging okay <laughs> nothing I could do that it, she, she, doesn't, she doesn't move quick enough to get away and the problem is I'm not getting the mana either Uh, I'm getting annoyed by that um, constant high-pitched noise. I mean, ironically, I can actually save my game, so I'm going to do that. Save it in the middle of a boss fight, but what I am going to do very quickly... I'm doing that just to make it a bit easier because I'm getting really, really annoyed. Yeah, that's fine. Perfect. I'll turn the music back up once this battle ends, people. I'm getting really irritated by that constant high-pitched noise. So apologies if you're enjoying that, but I wasn't. So 
times like that where you want developers to think about maybe varying the soundtrack a bit, doing something to make it more just just better just better all round all round sound. You don't want sound that's um, repetitive. Yeah, I'm screwed. There's nothing I can do. I can't. I can't do anything. Luckily for me, at this moment, I've got decent mana for my items. So if I can be quick, hmm. well, you just headbutted me. There's not much you can do about that. Well, that's got to be a death, surely. Or maybe not. I might just get away with that, believe it or not. <sighs> Excellent. Right. Oh yeah, while I'm here. Let's get that safe, shall we? It looks like a dead queen, yes. I just, I, I, I just got fed up of all... I'm going in East End Thug. And it worked. Went in with the ice thrower and went in. And just thought, that's it, I've had enough of this. I've never trusted toadstools, but I suppose some must have their good points. I wish I were hallucinating. What a horrible choice. Eat a toadstool or remain food for insects. <laughs> it's rude to eat and run, but sometimes it's unavoidable. So now we're going back to the caterpillar's plot, apparently. This is quite interesting to see. So now we are back. Oh, look. Maybe I should apologize, but I guess it's time to put you on ice. How about you join me for a nice cold one? There's no need to give me such a frosty reception. Yeah. Happened. I got sucked into something. It was like I got, I got sucked in by a lava fish or something. Seriously, that was like a little. You were dead. I killed you. Oh, what the. Right. Okay, so that's what did that to me. Oh. Have I frozen myself? Okay, well, now we're literally up against the devil, people. <sighs> yes, that happened, people. Hey, look, it's full of TTs. Yeah, 
Yes, putting the heels above lava is a very, as I say, creators of doom kind of move, to be perfectly honest. It's the kind of thing that people behind doom would do. Make it so the game's not remotely fair. So there's some kind of ultimate weapon, but in order for me to get it, I need to get all the pieces. Still, it's opened the gates of um, the underworld, people. So I suppose there is that. The gave uh, the. Hang on a second. Did you just see that sign then? The Jabberwock's lair. I'm gonna save my game on a dead den. I'm glad that I saved it there, people. I fell straight into a lava pit. Yes, there's quite a few um, places that we can go now. But we've unlocked the Cave of the Oracle, so let's go down here. Now we're being attacked by Banshees. I feel like I'm playing Final Fantasy VIII here against the three. They have Shiva. That was you guys shooting me, was it? And it's not seem to be doing any damage to them. That's getting on my nerves. Oh, oh that's gonna waste my ammo. Luckily for me, there's a healing and some mana here. Fine. If I can't fight them now, I'll fight them later. I'll find a way to do it. this part a little bit unbalanced. Because the enemies are, let's say the enemies are just impossible to hit half the time. It's because there's no lock-on system. You don't have that ability to lock your target. And again, if you had a bit more of a precise input than a analog controller, it might not be such a problem. But as we don't have that, we have to make do with what we've got. Teach you from messing around with Alice. Leave Alice alone. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, 
that worked. Now you can stop throwing stuff at me. That felt satisfying. Remember when I um, went to fight Ramon Salazar again in Resident Evil 4 Remake, having found a way to get an RPG and finishing in one move? Yeah, that's what I was giving them a taste of. Alice has had enough. She's had enough of your shit. Thank you. They're gone once again. Play on for a little while longer. I'm in the office tomorrow, so I can't unfortunately stay up too late tonight. To destroy the palace filled with malice is the daring work of noble Alice. An end game with the Red Queen is possible only after you crush her sentinel. The vile, fiercelicious, and vengeful Jabberwock. Without the staff that bears his name, destroying him is the hopeless work of a wasted life. I have one piece of the eye staff. Where are the others? Scattered throughout the world. When you have them all in hand, checkmate is possible. The pale royals may be of you. Obscure allusions to chess are fine, but it troubles me that anonymous oracles know more of my business than I do. <laughs> yep, now we got actual pawn pieces there, which is pretty awesome. And a, a, a pawn is in P-A-W-N, not pawn as in anything else. Oh, we're playing that game, are we? Alright, you guys have made me mad. Now you see, that killed everybody, including me. Yeah, we'll skip that scene. Yeah, don't don't be dodging my gunfire, you. Don't you be dodging my croquet fire. Who gave you permission to get intelligent? I can be annoying as well, game. How do you like that? Huh? So I was trying desperately to get away from the explosion. But unfortunately I got hung up on one of the enemies and it stopped me from getting away. Which makes sense when you think about it. You know, it's like, oh no no no. If you're if, if we're going down, you're coming with us, kind of thing. Like cause as much damage as you can on the way down. That's what they were going for. You guys are really annoying me now. Yeah. Nice try. I will, I will say this, I mean, the health power-ups in this game are quite plentiful. I like the fact that you get health every time you take an enemy out. That's nice. There's at least some reward for battling the enemy. It's not like you're just repeatedly putting things into bullet sponges and not getting anywhere with it. So I can, I can at least get, I can get the developers cred for that. Ah, 
Let's not like a stone star. Lucky for me. There are plenty of power ups back this way. Yeah. I fought in advance. Now that's cheap, I must admit. That was cheap of me. Running away to get a better position. I mean... I don't think it's cheap, but the game will. They were on their preset paths, and I'm like, no, I'm not doing that. Too bad, as Ada Wong would have said. So there was a castle with the pawns that have opened up the gate, and with it, a way to actually get into a portal. So I think that's our next move. Ah, I don't feel you might be coming out to play. Yep, sorry to say that was a big mouth on you, but it, could, it wrote checks it could not cash. I do like the screaming souls. We've clearly sent them on a torturous path here. It's interesting, this, this reminds me a bit of um, that Power Slave Exhumed, where you use the blue mana for your weapons and the red mana for your life, and you can basically choose between which one they, which one they charge up. The East End Fog came to our advantage. Since you know the moves best play with white, they go first. Such order in the midst of chaos makes me woozy and disoriented. The regularity of the board disguises the predatory menace of certain pieces. Ugh. Not more fucking chess.
Hmm. That tactic, tactic actually worked. I'm surprised. Well, I think he I think he died of embarrassment then. He just literally fell straight over. Still, we managed to get closer to the board, people. But we're going for a slight bit longer. God, look at that 3D effect there, people. That's so obviously a flat texture. Look at that. That'll make your head spin, people. Especially if I do this. Uh, yeah. well, let's, let, let's see how many people I can make kill in the audience. Yeah, that's hypnotic, isn't it, people? I'm such a troll. Also healed over and died of embarrassment. Okay. Like, okay. Looking glass land. Ooh, we're getting there, people. Hey, out of the woods. We've done it. Oh, wow. Look at those effects. We have a rock. And now we're in a very grayscale level. Extremely grayscale. Can now only move like a bishop. We're actually playing 3D chess, people. So you have to figure out your moves in advance. And look at your surroundings to check. Because I gotta go there, I'm only gonna have pitfalls. I must say, this is actually very inventive. We're actually playing chess as a game mechanic. It's only letting us go on the white tiles, and we can literally only move as a bishop. So if you've not played chess, this will be a very difficult game for you. It will be very difficult, but you won't fully understand the actual allegories that are involved. This is actually very nice. It's a welcome break. Now, the question is whether we're going to have, like, timed moves. No, we're not. 
I really like that. That was very, very nice. That was a very welcome change of pace. Really nice mechanic. And it fit the theme of the world so well. And I get the feeling that's what we're going to be doing more of in terms of the puzzles. Oh, now we're being attacked by chess pieces. Now it's no now now we're no longer playing proper chess people. Now we're just playing Eastern Thug Chess. Okay. I can play that game, don't worry about that. surprisingly well that's right get over again a very cool idea and there's another piece of the staff that's just been acquired from the chessboard I'm guessing we've got to go this way. Oh, no, we're being attacked. We're not done yet. Sorry, pawn. You were going up against a queen. Right. Let's go and let's go and talk to this rook and see what happens. Nothing. It's weird, it's 3D animated, as if it has something to do with the scene. Yet there's no interaction from him. And so I've got the staff. So the question now is, where do we go? We have to be here somewhere. That was the way we came. I mean, we could try going back the way we came. Navigate our way off the board. No, I didn't think so. I had a, I had a feeling we had, we had to go forward somewhere else. It just made no sense to send us back. Don't you headbutt me. Now we have a door navigation mechanic. Okay. So what's off to the right? Oh, uh, bad vibes, it would seem. But it is possible to. Oh, what the? Now we got ma now we got bishops wielding magic staffs, shooting lasers. This isn't very Alice in Wonderland. The only good thing is the bombs worked. By using the bombs, I was able to get rid of them relatively fast. So that's a good thing. Oh, hello. Oh, does this mean we have to play as a pawn? 
Because if we do, we can only move forwards, which would be a huge, huge problem. Oh, I've just fallen down. Oh, well. So much for that, people. We had a secret room. So, are you not entertained? Said the, I don't know, the Queen of Hearts or whatever you tell me. <laughs> yeah, it's not my style to do that. Oh, what the? No. Ah. The rock door is open. Good. Yes, let's take some fall damage. Rather than go the long way around. Because, guess what? We had the healing there, so we might as well use it. Yes, I, I don't want to strip my own ego, um, Queen. You know, that's not my style. I had a feeling someone might be waiting to try and cap me there. That's a very ID software trick. That's what happens when you repeatedly bounce back away from me and make it impossible for me to hit you. I'll find a way to take advantage, rest assured. Okay. That nice tag team combo from me and the rock there. So have I got a weird escort mission now? Is that what's going on here? I bloody hope not. I hate escort missions. I hate them with an absolute passion. See, this weapon is quite powerful. It's just that it's not very accurate. But it does the job so well. Well, that's clearly not for jumping down from here. And now our knight is not happy. Oh, oh, we're doing it again. We're in knight mode.
Right, the problem here is we're playing this like using the knight moves. And normally in, a, in chess of a knight, you normally have two options. You can either go two forward and then one to the left or to the right. Or you can go one forward and two to the left or two to the right. So the tricky part here is which way can we go and how do the controls work? Realistically, there's only one way we can move. Ah, interestingly, okay, maybe... Yes, so this is where, as I was saying before, we have the moves. But I'm not sure how they've simulated it. Ah, you see, it's only letting me go in one or two directions. Yeah, that was interesting. Get off my stairs. I didn't give you permission to come here. The East End Thug didn't say you was allowed to be in part of this company. Ah, I think I may have found a secret. Take advantage of the mana. Ah, there's a jackbox. Oh, boo. Fell off the stairs. That's what I managed to do then. That's not very clever. Excellente. Problem is you could really do with a weapons wheel in this game. Like there's no weapons wheel. That's the problem. So you can't select your weapon. You have to use the bumper buttons and scroll through them. Which again is very early 2000s Doom. So the control scheme's on point for the era, but that's not aged well at all. Still, the good thing is... But at least it's working. The game's not truly broken, it's just a bit challenging. 
I believe he came from this era. That's right. Breeze. Freeze right there. Down you go. And we have another lever. Filling the area up with water. Interesting. So the big question is, what has that done? She very nearly walked over the edge then. I didn't want her to do that. Alice very much not paying attention then. Ah! Okay, so we're deep underwater. Can't use any weapon but the knife. something doing does he need me to clear the area out here is that it is that the issue is it because there's still something in the water Is it that's attacking me? Yeah, the game won't let me up there. Oh, will it? Oh, it has. Okay. And it's led me to a heart item, that's all it's led me to. Well, that's really quite disappointing. It's nice to get some new items at least, but I've just no idea what to do. So, rather crushingly, I think that's worth it tonight. We're going to say farewell, because I'm in the office tomorrow, unfortunately. But we are deep in Wonderland. We've gone through some truly disgusting bosses here. And we've faced off against some truly annoying enemies. So, we are going to be back on Friday evening at 8pm GMT when I carry on playing through Final Fantasy X. 
And on a Monday, we're taking a look at one of the forgotten but great PlayStation, PlayStation 1 era games, Tenchu Stealth Assassins. That's also on Monday, 8pm GMT. But until then, thank you all very, very much for watching. And seriously, stay away from the fish.